Hey guys, after Shetima Ma mocked Atiku's tribunal laws, see shocking secrets exposed about the Nigerian vice president. Hey, <laughs> these secrets uh, don't scatter the country. In Nigeria is just a talk left, right, and center. Hey, my people, there is fire on the mountain. You know? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The vice presidential, the vice president Kasim Shetima has been characterized as a politician with the poorest governance track record in Nigerians' history. This assumption was made by Mr. Frank Sheibu, Atiku Abubakar's special assistant, on public communications on Thursday, September 7. This statement followed Vice President Shetima's controversial and humorous remark about Atiku following the presidential tribunal verdicts in Abuja. Mr. Frank Shebo, Atiku's Abubakar's special assistant on public communications, has criticized the Vice President Kasim Shetima for his remarks following the presidential election tribunal verdict, which favored President Bola Tinubu. In a widely circulated video where Shetima addressed the press, he made humorous uh, comments about Atiku retiring as a header in Kumbana. He said, we are not going to retire Atiku to Dubai or Morocco. How do you retire him to Kumbana? How do you buy him gold, broilers, and layers? so that he can spend his days rearing cows and broilers. On a more serious note, Atiku is an added statement. The nation needs him, he added. Shetimar Steno in Borunu works in Nigerian's history. Frank Shaibo, the Atikus, it criticized Shetimar's remark in a statement provided to Legate News on September 4th calling him, please pardon me, of September 8, calling him the politician with the worst track records in government. He claimed that poverty and adversity characterized Shetima's uh, term as governor of Burundi State. Shaibu said, ordinarily, we should not have responded to Kasim Shetima since he has an incurable speech defenses. Please Pardon me. Shaibu said, ordinarily, we should not have responded to Kasima Shetima since he has an incurable speech deficiencies, which is, no, which is so severe that most Nigerians can hardly understand what he says. However, for the sake of the reading public, this response becomes very important. He said he loves to rack Rack Lusta, job jokers at every given opportunity. Last year, he said the vice president of Sibanjo should have been an ice cream man instead of a politician. Later on, he said Nigeria needed a leader like Sani Abacha because he had nothing to say about himself or his principal, Abola Tinubu, whose three months in power have only worsened poverty and inflation. Shebu claimed that Shetima's special, speciality had become mocking others. Shebu cancelled the vice president to ask God for forgiveness for obstructing the fate of Borunu State's millions of residents. He said Shetima lacked the charisma necessary to assume a post like the vice president and a him to take note of the examples they lead in public decency. Bola Tinubu was declared the winner of the 2023 presidential election on Wednesday, September 6, after the presidential tribunal dismissed all appeals against its election victory. As soon as Atiku Abubakar lost at the tribunal, the vice president, Kasim Shetima, promised to retire the PDP candidate. On Thursday, September 7th, Atiku reacted and stated that 
he will not be leaving Nigerian politics just yet. In another news headline, President Bola Tinubu in Delhi, the capital of India, during a meeting with diaspora Nigerians in the country, noting that despite the great human and natural resources, wealth of the nation, the deficits in leadership had led Nigeria back from its manifest destiny. According to a statement by his special advisor on media and publicity, Adrian, in Galilee, the president told the gathering, which was composed of people from different parts of India, that he had come to present a new future for Nigeria to them. <laughs> the president called the Nigerians to harness the country's rich diversity as a uniquely powerful tool for advancing prosperity and the national development for the benefit of all citizens, emphasizing that our diversity must be leveraged to, deliver, to drive economic growth. In, okay, according to a statement by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Ajiri in Galali, the president told the gathering, which was composed of people from different parts of India, that he had come to present a new future for Nigeria to them. The president called on Nigerians to harness the country's rich adversity, diversity as a uniquely powerful tool for advancing prosperity and national development for the benefit of all citizens, emphasizing that our diversity must be leveraged to drive economic growth, innovation, and uh, social progress. We are here to present a new future to you, a future of a country that is so rich and devoured and highly populated, very dynamic, unique in, in its culture, tradition, and its city. That is what we make our prosperity possible. If only we can make the use of our diversity for prosperity he employed. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.